Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance Fracas. In this tutorial, we'll cover an overview of Reliance Fracas so you can start your own analysis. Note the details on entering or editing Fracas data will be covered in our next Getting Started with Reliance Fracas video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop-down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the Welcome dialog, make sure that Fracas is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If we had already opened the drone example analysis and made any changes, we can easily remove all of the changes by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so I'll click Got It to clear the message. Before we continue with this introductory Fracas tutorial, it is important to note that Fracas processes are typically very unique to each organization. Reliance Fracas is completely customizable for your use, and this tutorial is meant to show just one example setup. As it is an introductory tutorial, we will not cover how to customize the Reliance Fracas interface to meet your needs. To find information on customizing Reliance Fracas, please review the Customizing the Fracas Interface Help topic or contact the Reliance team for assistance. Here in our sample analysis, we see the sidebar on the left, the Analysis Tree section to the right of the sidebar containing our system structure, and by default, the Incident table on the right of the screen. This example uses the analysis tree in order to demonstrate more detailed features of Reliance Fracas, such as the option to compute MTBF calculations. For more information on the array of features available in Reliance Fracas, please review the Reliance Help. For this overview tutorial, however, we're going to simplify things to review the basics. Reliance Fracas has three main components. Incidents, Problems, and time logs. You are not required to use all three of these entities. This example demonstrates the usage of incidents and problems. Note that time logs are used if you want to use Fracas to compute field-based metrics. For more details about time logs, refer to the Using Fracas Time Logs topic in the Reliance Help. To switch between entities, we simply click Incidents, Problems, or Time Logs in the sidebar under Fracas. And the table to the right is updated accordingly. Let's return our focus to incidents and problems for the next few minutes. Incident reports, sometimes referred to as IFRs or incident failure reports, are the heart of any fracas process. An incident is any item you want to track, an issue, a failure, a customer complaint, etc. In this example, an incident represents a customer reported failure or issue. Reliance supports the standard incident to problem relationship where all issues are logged as incidents and then they are grouped and escalated to problems for deeper root cause analysis. Now let's spend some time reviewing the incident table. Again, if not displayed, we simply click Incidents over in the sidebar. To have even more space to view the incident table, note that you can also collapse the sidebar. With the incident table, it is very easy to view information across many incidents in your analysis. But this table does not typically contain all data fields used for data entry. To review more details about a particular incident, we go to the Incident form. So at this point, Incident 1 is selected here in the Incident table. Note to select any incident, we simply click in that row. And to see more details on the Incident form, we simply click the To Form button in the toolbar. So the Incident Form view displays a form with a number of data fields with specific details about our incident, Incident 1. Note that if you see an incident or problem like this one where all fields on the form are disabled, it's simply an indication that the incident has already been closed. Note that we can use the navigation buttons on the top of the form to move between incidents and review or update additional data as needed. Note for example here for incident form, many of the fields are editable. This incident has not yet been closed. When we are done reviewing the incidents in the form view, we can return to the incident table by clicking the to table button in the toolbar. 
Next, let's move on to review problems. Note that the use of problems is not required. Problems are a way to consolidate related incidents for tracking, management, and closeout, so they can be very useful. To display the problem table, we click Problems in the sidebar menu under Fracas. The problem table, like the incident table, displays a list of the problems being tracked. So problems are a mechanism to allow you to group incidents together. This enables you to track incidents with common underlying causes or corrective actions together for more efficient tracking. In this example, the problems are defined based on the commonly used Fracas 8D process. When an incident or group of incidents is elevated to a problem, a specific process is put into place to define, control, and ensure corrective action is implemented. Let's use problem 2 as an example and look at the problem form next. So we click to select the problem and click the To Form button in the toolbar to display the problem form. As our drone example is set up using the 8D process, the problem form is conveniently organized to match the steps of the 8D process. Note, however, that the problem form is completely and easily configurable to suit any custom process, such as the one used within your organization. And though we will not cover it here in this introductory tutorial, note that Reliance Fracas also supports customizable workflow with optional notifications and approvals. The entire process is configurable in the easy-to-use intuitive workflow editor. From workflow steps, based on your problem process steps, to approval setup and notification messages and scheduling. Now note, just like with incidents, we can navigate through the data for the various problems using the navigation buttons. Notice that as we navigate through the problem forms, we are automatically taken to the appropriate form for whatever step in the problem workflow we are currently on. This example uses the common 8D process for problem resolution, and you can see how the various problems are progressing through the workflow. For example, problem 4 is at step 5, corrective action. Problem 3 is at step 4, root cause. Problem 2 is at step 6, implement corrective action. Regardless of the current step, you can also click on any of the tabs on the left side to review the data associated with each step. When we have finished reviewing the problem forms, we can click the To Table button in the toolbar to return to the problem table. Finally, let's take a look at some sample Reliance Fracas reports. We can generate reports on any Fracas element. In Reliance, all reports are tied to the view you have open, which makes reporting very simple. There are two basic types of reports in Reliance Fracas. One you can see while viewing a table, and one you can see while viewing a form. To generate a report of our Fracas incident data, for example, we'll make sure that the incident table is selected using the option in the sidebar. Also in the sidebar, I can click Report. The Report Options dialog appears. I'll keep the default title for now, and I'll click Report to generate the report of the incident table. The report will appear in a new browser tab. We can review the report here. We can print the report. We can also save the report using the Export option to various formats including PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, TIFF, which is an image or Word format. When we're done viewing the report, we simply close the browser tab to return to Reliance. We can also generate a report of the incident form data. To do so, we access the form using the To Form button in the toolbar. We once again click Report in the sidebar. The Report Options dialog for the Incident Form report appears. We can once again leave the default title and the default option to include the selected incident. And I'll click Report to generate the single page report for this incident. Again, we can review the report, print or save as necessary, 
and when done viewing the report, we once again close the browser tab to return to Reliance. In a similar manner, you can generate reports for your problem table and problem form, as well as the time log table. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Fracas overview tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.